All right, so we're just gonna be taking a very quick look at this HP Z2 Mini G4 workstation. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. So there's this little switch back here. So if you're gonna open this thing up, what you do is you slide this switch and while you're sliding that, you pull up here, all right? And you can see the cover comes off. So they actually label here what's inside. You can see MXM slot, CPU, okay? Um, two slots of RAM. And then they label all these other things and yeah, you can see here. So if you wanna figure out what's in here, <clears throat> You can basically figure it out from there. All right, press and slide here. What is this? So apparently you can also slide this metal plate off somehow, but I'm gonna leave that in place. Okay, it says, oh, never mind. This is the slide to the front of the system for putting it back. All right, so there's a slot here for a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Um, I'm actually working on this without my screen, so. It's hard for me to see what I'm looking at, but uh, let's go ahead and see what size screwdriver we need for this, just in case you're opening yours and you want to figure that out. I believe it's a T15, but let's see here. Let's try. Yeah, so we're going to use a T15 or Torx 15 screwdriver. I'm going to remove this one screw here and just see how easy it is to remove this tray looks like it's actually super easy. So if you wanted to put a two and a half inch SATA hard drive or SSD in here, very easy to remove. All right, again, you have this connector here. I don't wanna pull out too much here, but um, yeah, there's a lot of things under this. I believe this is the video card. All right, underneath here, I can actually see, so there's the fan. I don't see, oh, the fan just swings up out of the way. That's a very nice design. So this fan just swings up out of the way. You can probably pull it out here. Let me see, does it pop out? No, it's pretty tough to remove. All right, two sticks of RAM here. So you can pull these two taps to the side. Pops up like this. I wasn't expecting to be able to show this far into it, but 16 gig DDR4-2666. So if you want, you can put um, any DDR4-2666 RAM. Um, I think 16 gigs per stick is already the max. So yeah. All right. I don't want to redo the thermal paste, so I'm not going to take it out. But there's three screws holding the heat sink in place. Hopefully you can see. All right, and this CPU is replaceable, removable, so if anything, yeah, that can be swapped out. The customer said that it made some burn smell, um, and he heard a pop, so most likely um, I'm going to have to have my partner look into this and see if they can repair the motherboard. Um, they're probably going to have to take everything else out, but I don't want to mess with anything so that they can see it in its original condition. I can actually see the SSD under here. Looks like we will have to take this fan out. There is one screw holding it in place. So let's go ahead and remove that screw. Okay, does this pop up like the other one? It kind of, it's coming up, but it seems like it's stuck on something. Is it the screw not out all the way maybe? Okay. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So this screw, okay, it's supposed to come out. I don't know why the screw is stuck in there, but there you go. Once you get that screw out, you can swing this up. And there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. One screw here. You are going to have to switch screwdrivers. Um, let me see if I can figure out what size screwdriver that is for you. Because the wireless card also uses one of those small screws. Um, That's probably too big, yep. It's probably a T8 or Torx 8 screwdriver, yeah. So it's a T8 or Torx 8 screwdriver. So if you wanted, you can remove that screw. I'm gonna leave it in place. There is a thermal pad on top, um, heat shield. So I don't wanna mess around with that because then stuff might need to be redone. I don't see anything that looks weird in here. Sorry, I'm not showing everything. Um, I believe this is a CMOS reset button. So it says uh, SW50 CMOS. So I don't know. But uh, this button is probably to reset the CMOS. You have a little cable running along here. 
I don't see where it ends, but got one speaker right there. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at or pointing at. Um, yeah, but I don't want to mess around too much with this. Again, I believe this is actually the GPU right here, four screws. Um, and then there's some screws holding the motherboard down into the board, but you can see part of the GPU in there. All right, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to show, at least um, from this video. You should be able to now upgrade the uh, SSD and the RAM. All right, if your SSD is dead or you just want more capacity or something or a faster one, then you should be able to figure it out from there. Um, if not, you can figure it out from watching a few of my other videos. They're basically the same idea. All right, let's go ahead and get this screw back in. Okay, there we go, and let's go ahead now and just put the cover back on. So what you want to look for is this little hook here. So this part has a hook, and this part has these um, sideways hooks, or these smaller hooks. All right, so what you want to do is you find the front and the back. So the front is here, and then the back has all the ports in it. So basically what you're going to do take these hooks and you want to slide that into there okay once you get that lined up you just push this down and there we go everything is snapped back into place so hopefully this video helped you guys at least to upgrade your device um, if it did make sure to like subscribe share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well if it helped you save a bunch of money please consider contributing a little to my channel every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty sure everything else is, yeah, attached to the motherboard. Um, and this cable is removable as well, so keep that in mind. All right, and I think that's it. I didn't see where the actual BIOS battery was, so it might be on the other side of the motherboard. And then that's the power button. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Let's see. If your computer is overheating, you can easily just use a powerful air blower and blow through this, and that should help you clean it up. Uh, same thing with this one. You would want to remove the hard drive caddy, and then you can actually clean it out pretty well. You can actually see there's some dust buildup on the corners here, so it looks like the air intake goes in from these little square or these holes on the sides on all of them. Uh, I don't really get how the design helps with this. So the air is supposed to, I guess, come in here and then come out here. But I don't see how they seal off this whole thing to prevent the air from just flowing back all around the place. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right? Bye.